believe it or not, we are going to incorporate this poor three-legged gecko into uh, the plate that we're making here at Hindenburg Pottery. <laughs> Joining me once again is Ginger McCoy, uh, owner here at the gallery. I love the space. Oh, great. I it's can wonderful. absolutely see how you get the creative juices flowing and uh, why you enjoy this so, so much. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're continuing to work on my plate. I didn't get very far. <laughs> you did well. You did really so well. We I'm cut interrupting out the shape. you. We use the cheesecloth to put in some texture. That's right. What's next? That's right. So the next thing you want to do is figure out where do you want your gecko to be in that, um, I guess, landscape, if you will. Right. And I shouldn't copy you because you've done, check out this plate, how neat that is. You can see the gecko there. He looks like he's coming up the cheesecloth and into the grass. Yeah. But I'll do mine a bit differently. I'm going to make mine a flying gecko. You can. So do I push him in? You can and just press him in. And when you're pressing him in, I'm going to use this one here as a, when you're pressing him in, yep, that's right. Just want to try not to get your fingers to go over the edges because they'll show. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of high tech skill here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then just then pull him out? Just take him up gently. You might have Come out. I'm going to rip off another arm. Oh, yeah. oh look, it's perfect. <laughs> perfect. Now, you're not limited to just one. If you wanted to put another one, you want to give them a friend. You could do multiple geckos. You could. You uh, could be, yeah, so that's another thought. And then this piece here is for your son. All right, so I'll do a forearmed friend over here. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Gecko's got friends. Yes. Okay, so I pushed him in and then pull him out. Oh, ah, I like look, it. Nice. And this is the sun stamp. So that can be the sun stamp. Now I have other stamps here as well. Different sun ones. Oh, lots of choices. And okay. this one here is a nice swirly guy. So, oh, mine's, sorry, uh, yeah. little. So I'll put my sun here and then oh, nice. I think I'm going to do some gecko love. Oh, with the heart. gecko love. So, no, I never thought of that. So where should I put look them? Look at your imagination go. This. Oh, look. Aren't you clever? They just love each other so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next step then, Sarah, is we're going to smooth out the edges like this around. Okay. See how your finger just sort of glides because the clay is still moist enough mm -hmm. that it's very pliable. Okay. Is that right? Yep, you're doing an excellent job. Is there really a Perfect. wrong when it comes to pottery? There, I don't think so. Some will say that there are certain rules that you have to follow. Well, um, I guess if you want people to buy your work. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, everyone is different. Um, so there are certain rules you really do have to follow in terms of it, making attachments to things and, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. But how you uh, mani manipulate the clay and... Um, you know, try different things is, there's really no rules to that. It's your imagination. And if, if people are interested in uh, going beyond just purchasing the items that you've made here and, and maybe trying out pottery for themselves, how can they do that? If they um, uh, go to uh, Gladstone Clayworks, to mm -hmm. the studio where I um, have a studio there, they um, can take classes. Okay. There's uh, Loam around the corner. They're also giving classes. It's a new studio that's just opened up. And there's a number of community centers in the city as well that offer uh, classes too. So people can check it out. They can come here to the store if they mm -hmm. want to, and I can direct them to wherever they want to go and yeah, find the right fit for what they need. Great, okay. Um, you can find all of the contact information for Hindenburg Pottery on the web page. My plate's really starting to come together. It is. Now, you know what we're going to do is pull up the sides. Okay, so of course we've got to give the sides a bit of an edge so it can actually hold some things. That's right. <laughs> Later that's right. in the show, sorry to interrupt yeah, you, no we're worries. going to head inside uh, and show you some of the finished works of art. They've got a number of artists who uh, display their, their work here, so wait until you get a look at it. It's some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Stay with us. It's coming up later on CTV Morning Live.